Today we're in San Diego's Balboa Park and we're going to be visiting one of the park's newest museums, the Comic-Con Museum. Balboa Park is 1,200 acres in size and has been called San Diego's crown jewel. The park is home to numerous museums, galleries, and theaters, along with the famous San Diego Zoo. The newest museum in the park is the Comic-Con Museum. The Comic-Con Museum is located in the park's federal building, which held the San Diego Hall of Champions until 2017. The federal building was built in 1935 and holds a special place in my heart as my grandfather lived in it when he was in basic training for the Navy during World War II. For over 50 years, the San Diego Comic-Con has been one of the most popular conventions of its kind in the world. But the Comic-Con only lasts a few days each year, so the organizers wanted to have a space dedicated to pop culture that was available year-round. Thus the idea to create a Comic-Con museum. The museum is 250,000 square feet in size and is on three floors. We visited during the museum's opening week, and as you'll see, they have a lot of room for growth. The first exhibit we checked out was celebrating eight decades of Archie comics. The exhibit includes vintage comics, original art, TV and film props, and other memorabilia. The exhibit was based on Pop's Chocolate Shop from the comic books. This was a really fun exhibit to look around, and it was pretty cool seeing the original art. Of course, the question with Archie Comics was always, Betty or Veronica? Let me know in the comments your choice. Right next to the Archie Comics exhibit was a very small exhibit on the art of the Comic-Con Masquerade, featuring a number of costumes. Next was a Gene Roddenberry exhibit. Gene Roddenberry was the creator of Star Trek and was born in 1921, so this exhibit celebrates his 100th birthday. The exhibit took up the back half of the floor, and everything here was pretty spread out, making it appear much bigger than it was. It could have easily been fit in half the space. Still, this was pretty fun to look around and check out things like Captain Kirk's chair. The exhibit is scheduled to be at the museum only for six months, so depending on when you're watching this, it may no longer be there. The first floor also had a pretty cool exhibit on cardboard superheroes. Cardboard superheroes was founded in 2019 by two brothers, Connor Lee, age 17, and Bauer Lee, age 14, as a nonprofit that provides alternative and free arts education workshops to people of all ages. The two brothers created all the characters in this exhibit out of cardboard, which is pretty impressive. The second floor had what was probably my favorite exhibit in the museum, Chaz Adams Family and Friends, featuring the artwork of Charles Adams, creator of the Adams Family. There were over 60 pieces of his original art here, which was amazing to see in person. The upper floor also had a small exhibit on comic art in the times of COVID that featured youth artwork that came out of a collaboration between the museum and Arts, a youth development program in the South County region of San Diego. There was also a cosplay creators lab on the second floor that had things like a fabric printer, a 3D printer, sewing machines, and lots of workspace for people to work on their costumes. Now, heading down to the museum's basement, there's another small cosplay exhibit, much like the one on the ground floor, and the basement is also where you'll find the museum's theater. While we were there, they were showing a short video about Pac-Man on a loop. Which brings us to the last exhibit we visited, which is located on the first floor right by the exit, and it was a really great exhibit on Pac-Man. Pac-Man had his 40th anniversary last year, and the museum inducted him into their character Hall of Fame. This exhibit had sections on the history of Pac-Man, some of the original design documents, Pac-Man memorabilia, and a bunch of Pac-Man video games. And they were free to play. They even had the Pac-Man pinball machine. I definitely got my admissions worth in playing free Pac-Man. Overall, the museum was pretty fun to visit and spend an hour looking around but there's definitely a lot of room to grow. 
It will be interesting to see how it evolves and we'll certainly be going back when new exhibits come in. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.